evening first tonight there, crimes can be just as serious and just as distressing as any committed by an adult. But children under the age of 10 can't be prosecuted for what they've done because the law deems them too young to be responsible for their actions. A BBC South investigation has revealed that the number of crimes being committed by children below the age of criminal responsibility in parts of our region has nearly doubled in the past three years. Victoria Cook has this exclusive report. Across the Thames Valley, the number of crimes committed by younger children is going down, but it's increased in Wickham and Oxford. Nearly 400 crimes were reported in our area in the last three years. None of the children allegedly responsible were old enough to face prosecution. Some of the crimes would attract serious punishment if the offender was an adult, including sexual assault by a five-year-old in West Oxfordshire, rape by a six-year-old in Aylesbury, and a nine-year-old caught carrying a firearm in South Bucks. The age of criminal responsibility is an issue which really divides the experts. Some say that children know the difference between right and wrong before they're 10, and so they should be punishable. Others say that 10 is too young, and it should be increased to somewhere nearer 14. We have to consider the entire context of their development, the circumstances within which they live. That could be socio-economic. Um, it could be a whole host of other uh, social and familial factors that might cause the, again, what we might call normal parenting patterns to deviate. If it's something more like shoplifting, robbery, burglary, stuff like that, then then maybe sometimes if they're under the age of criminal responsibility, maybe the parents need to accept some of that responsibility. The children at the end of the day, and it's all about learning and, isn't it, discipline, start them at home, and a lot of it isn't done at home. Police say the crimes are wide ranging and so they're dealt with on an individual basis. Although they can't prosecute, they can impose curfews. If children commit crimes regularly, authorities have powers to take them into care and hold parents responsible for their actions. Victoria Cook, BBC South Today. A short time ago, I spoke to Shawneen Lamb from the charity Just For Kids Law. She told me why she believes the age of criminal responsibility should be increased. Recent scientific research has shown that adolescent brains are not developed in the way that adult brains are. Um, this has been accepted by the United States Supreme Court. But the neuroscience shows that the frontal lobes of the uh, consequential thinking part of the brain is not developed until late adolescence. There have been some high-profile cases like the murder of Jamie Bulger in 1993. Robert Thompson and John Venables were both 10. They wouldn't have been jailed because they wouldn't legally have been able to commit a crime if the age had been raised. What would happen in cases like that? Well, it's not that I don't think that children should be held accountable for their bad behaviour. I think very young children know um, right from wrong. Um, my four-year-old, for example, knows that it was wrong to bite, but it didn't necessarily stop him from doing that. What I think is needed in those very serious situations is some kind of therapeutic intervention that allows those children to become the best possible adults that they can be. What kind of therapeutic intervention are you talking about? Well, for example, in Scandinavia, there are very small units with uh, 20 children, um, psychologists, social workers, education units that enable that child to, be, to grow into a civic and responsible adult. What if children continue to break the law, though? Well, I, of course, I think there should be interventions, and I think... Um, Breaking the law can be a wide range of things, from um, you know, loitering out on the street to very serious offences. And I do think there are times when children need to be removed maybe from their family environment, but I still think where we place them is what's important, and it should be a welfare-based placement rather than incarceration. Shawneen Lamb, thank you.